Seven lives, no, six lives. Now, today. Really. I am really tired. <laughs> but I need. I want to be done with the wise part first. And then um, there is six. Six missions on arson. And then at that, I think maybe I do three. Three every, you know, three every day. You see, stuff. And then that will be on schedule until Resident Evil 4. So I want to be done with Vice today. Let me just go to here. Oh. What's up, live? What's up, live? What's up? All right. Okay. Let's let's start. We're gonna be done with the um, what are you doing? The court. Oh, the court. Uh, the case now. Broadway Hollywood. He's around here somewhere. Okay. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the harmonica? Game have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. Okay, let's take this dude. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird Where are we going? <laughs> Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Oh, uh, oh, I hear it. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself. Do, 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 do. Fuck sakes. What the fuck? I'm shooting the shit out of him. I can shoot you right now. Hope you know that. I don't know if I'm about to, uh, if I like, I should shoot him, or if I should take him, you know? Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Or jumped off. Oh, we just hit him. Okay, we should. We have about to shoot him, I guess. Okay. What the fuck? They do this, Superman. Superman Deluxe, bro. Son of a bitch, really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. That's crazy. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Thank you. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Okay. Trophy, 8 million stories.
the question part is f oh yeah like, you can see how bad that shit was now there's only this one and then we're gonna get another promotion You guys better be able to hear this fucking whistling and shit. Yeah, okay. The whole company is gone, Hank. The Major is dead. We're being overrun. We have to get off of this hill. That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole. The 22nd are still fighting. Shut the fuck up. Like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. Oh, what the fuck? He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. But God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're ah. a damn hero, son. What's your name? Cole Phelps. Lieutenant Phelps. Okay. Sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. Exactly. The dude behind me, the fuck your name is. I don't know your damn name, but I hate you. The last case as a vice. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. You better shut You're the fuck the up. Reason brothers and sisters should marry. What the fuck did she say? God damn it. Just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Phelps. Need a drink. Even you, Phelps. Shut your bitches! Up! I'm not waiting for you, sorry about that. Well, one thing I have a problem with um, when I play this game, <laughs> um, I am, um, I have a problem with like rushing things. You know, I can't just enjoy the game. But now I have a reason to rush this game. I, I didn't want to rush this game, but I have a reason to. Resident Evil 4, I don't want to rush it at all. But I feel like I am going to... I, I don't want to rush it when I play. But I feel like I'm going to just play. I'm going to like... I found a way to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So like I'm going to... Like do... I'm going to play a lot. You know? So... That game. Like in one day. You know? So... I don't know like... Guys might be done like in two days maybe. Like one day. With the game. So... Bukowski. 
But I mean, like, I'm rushing it, like, gameplay-wise. Like, I'm not gonna skip stuff. I'm gonna read through the notes. I'm gonna read through shit. I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna read everything this time. In, like, in that game. You know? yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. Get this, they used to be So that will be pretty interesting, not room. gonna lie. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree. You know? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're no peace. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Okay. Hey, what are we, what are we doing? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he got something he there. A dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. You think so? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yo, when you're ready to have a civil conversation, we. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Shut you, fucking. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes. Uh, hey, don't say honey to me, bro. Seems like you don't care at all. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous mm -hmm. owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Okay. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, man. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Shut the fuck up. I didn't fucking ask you for how he was as a boss. What can this be? Come on, Cole, say something. They <laughs> are. Nothing, nothing. Oh. Uh, what's here? I know there's some stuff in here. What? Blah, 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 blah. I know, I know. Nothing to sing. I know that coal. <laughs> He's not even saying it anymore because he knows how stupid I am for even looking at it. Like, you know what? He doesn't learn about these mistakes. Let me just be quiet. Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Don't you say, sir, huh? What's that click? Another day, another dollar. Need okay. Check. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Take it. We should follow up on the musician angle. Uh, he kept yeah. his stash close at hand. Oh, okay. That's the only thing. Okay. We shake that. Yeah, we can. Interesting. I'm joking. Not interesting at all. Got another, not another dead man. Looks like the guy from um, Man of Medan.
Let's see what you got under your pants. We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Go. No, hello, hello, hello. The other arm here. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Just a hand. That seems like we're done there. Yes, sir. Here we got some packs to a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. Guns. Fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. This guy hunting. Exactly. Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army Rabba dabba doodle doodle doodle. Peep up. Army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. You catch all the good ones, fellas. Yeah, new location. Nice, nice, nice vice. <laughs> Sorry about that, Roy. But I just don't like you. Oh, so beautiful, man. Okay. <laughs> Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. <laughs> okay. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Unterstumfuhrer? What the fuck was that? I told a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! <laughs> How about you get a drink? While I see to this. <laughs> okay. Will you sit down? Shut the fuck up. You sit down. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Yes, sir, you Black man don't supply nothing. Ba Kill. A black man Be quiet. On to two tons of morphine. I'm talking to his girl. Dead in a minute. White man supplies black man buys. <laughs> My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. Oh, okay. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. Oh, he was a God. sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Alrighty, righty, righty. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have 
Never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's yes, not my man. war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. You're a damn bitch! You just have a fucking survive. knockout! Elsa, you have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words. Don't try to be smart with me, bitch ass. Right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What wouldn't you do? That's my question. We're gonna follow this bitch, of course. Why am I not doing this with the... Um, what the fuck is his name? Roy. Nothing going on here, man. Everything is fine. Everything is under control. What the fuck was that? Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Okay, what the fuck? Running and shit, okay. Let me take this bitch out. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking break in here. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> Wait, am I getting some? Am I getting some, you know? <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh. Oh my god! I'm a naughty boy, man. I think. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Oh, my God. Number three. If you'll follow me. If you'll follow me. I follow myself. Say, could I borrow some of that mascara? 
LAPD. Gentlemen, we have some questions Hi, regarding... How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Shut the fuck up. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Who the fuck are you, boy? Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? What the fuck? Fun when we get together with him sometimes. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a service <laughs> man too, Cole. Johnny Our fucking partner is fucking we crazy. Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? Shut the we fuck have up. Some questions. Do I need my lawyer? No. You need your dick. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein. We need your balls to speak up. He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. Kid? H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. You better show some damn respect. You believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Of course you wouldn't. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the light. I'm gonna put you in cuffs. Quickly. A few Negroes sang on the sidewalk. Calm down! But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. Okay, they're showing us. on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Shut the fuck up. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife... Yo, yo Rogan. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. This way. I am going. Oh, there it is. Take that. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been the working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons. Afraid of Valor Smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. I'm gonna have to shake through it. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club?
half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. This is the crate we recovered. There we go. Oh, these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, a Goldrick. The Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever Whoa. sold the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. Your mom. Control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Whoa. I'm starting to lose my mind. You know? But what the fuck are you taking? How well did you know the owner? Christ alive, this is a nightmare! Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life. Why are you stopping, idiot? Last scratch. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson. Shots fired. Any units to handle identified. Code 3. Whoa. 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 What did they do, man? Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. Now he's gonna die because of it. I'm the hero that everybody needs. I'm the hero. Gonna save them all. Drop the gun now. Why, why are you, why are you, are you stupid? Please shoot him! Oh my god. That's right, I'm the hero. That's gonna be the title. I'm a hero. Bam. That's the title right there. Was it a sniper? He said search the sniper. He's not a fucking sniper. That's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Phone number and restaurant table. He didn't use a sniper. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I don't want to touch his face.
It's one of the BARs. All right. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Maybe I should call him. Maybe I should call this Roy is you hear crazy about the or something. Big heist on the Cool Ridge. Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Felix, that morphine is turning up everywhere. People are dying. You got something you want to tell me? I'm a bus driver. Do I look like I run a dope racket? Fuck off. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> okay. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Man, you better fucking. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Not for a minute. Oh fuck! I gotta make a phone call. Sorry about that. Okay, um, pulling pulling you through now. Okay, and then after no, that, how can I do the ticket? I mean, can ah, I fuck! I said it wrong again. An address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, fourteen oh eight North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. Thanks. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Rabba dabba la da 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 la la da 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 Okay, come on. Bro. Look where you're going. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Maybe reunions I'll could be a good uh, title, too. Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Fuck off, boy. You know, I'll put you in a cell. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the <laughs> boat, Kelso. What happened? Roy is crazy. A bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town. Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. 
You better watch your mouth. Okay, that's gonna be my my title. Roy is crazy. No, I didn't know that. You want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. You wouldn't know why anyone called the cash. Three of them. The Excuse me. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. You Jack, got your cuffs to add. Information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000. Well, he car. beat your ass. The you know that. Is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm gonna be working on it and keeping an eye on you. Exactly. Look at you can go now. Roy. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is the Chris Majewski. Bro, how many fucking shootings? Another name from the manifest. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged today? Oh, that was close. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. God damn maniac! Hey, calm down! You're enjoying this, aren't you? They just walked up and shot the man. Two oh, of the God officers, damn. they went that way. Go on, get after him. Fuck sakes, I can't drive. It's no good, we need to get closer. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Okay, you shot the bank wall. Spit him out. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Fuck off. Closer. What the fuck? Okay. Get fucked. We'll play with y'all. Balls in your mouth. Shake his body. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Okay, that was not where he was gonna go. An 
LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. Ooh. All the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Traitor! That is really interesting, huh? We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Yeah. Hello? That is some buggy fucking weapon. Okay. Of course. Yeah, we just don't care about him. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Hello? Alright, let's just go then, I guess. Did there be something here? see something I really think that this is the dude that we're missing but it doesn't work I don't know why I guess we have to leave it then not much we can do out all the guys from the ship why how does that get them the dope they obviously don't know what who the has fuck the i need to be here Fuck off. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, bro. I, I, I like her. Come on, bro. Fuck this shit. I am so tired. Oh, sweet Jesus. Whoa! Come on, bitch. Not 
not a oh, I'm gonna go to sleep. You guys can not wake me up because this is a private stream. Okay. <laughs> Probably still asleep when this shit. Go oh shit! When this came out, come out. Getting close and scared again. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. That was a good ass fucking. Paint or what the fuck you call it. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Come on, bitch. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Ah! Oh! Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mad at us? For what? Uh, got him. There goes a week's wages. Oh, my God. Come on, get in the fucking car, holy shit. Out of the car, police. Hello? When is America gonna understand? Fuck's sakes. It's not about getting, it's about giving. Can we try not to kill anyone? We're just going to this place, then we're gonna end the episode, start a new one. Another shooter, are you? Get time for your bitches! You know what? Let me do this last <laughs> next episode. See you later. Goodbye.